you may encounter providers uh, who say, and we'll just talk cardiology, is that when you have thickening of your heart muscle, what we would call left ventricular hypertrophy, okay? And the doctor says, well, we're going to control your blood pressure and we'll just keep watching you. Okay, but maybe you do have some of these other findings as well. I, I would like for people to remember that, you know, most of the people that we see with that hypertrophy are probably from uncontrolled blood pressure management or from kidney disease or sometimes from other genetic causes of thick heart muscle, which are way more common something like hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which may be in one in 200. But, and then people are going to say, well, why do we care what the etiology is, right? Well, first of all, if you have that genetic one, either Fabry or the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, that means there's a genetic reason behind that. And that's important because that implicates the rest of your family. Your genes just didn't come out of thin air. They came from somewhere and you might've passed them on to someone else, right? And you may have passed along that mutation to your kid. You want to know that. They want to know that. The other piece is, is that if I do that kind of testing, and you may also say, well, let's say it is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. We don't have a cure for that. We don't really have a treatment for that. Well, the first thing is, well, now we actually do, which will probably be FDA approved pretty quickly. But the other piece is, is that you may actually have Fabre. So we're gonna do genetic testing on because your heart muscle is thick. We can't tell you why. We do genetic testing and let's say one of those is one of these common mutations like a, a sarcomeric mutation. And the other one is Fabre. Well, why do I care? What's the difference between the two? Well, the reason I care is because of Fabre, I have unique therapies that I won't use on the sarcomeric patient. So it's just that simple. If someone has that one in 200 disease, I'm not gonna give them enzyme replacement therapy. I am gonna give enzyme replacement therapy or some kind of therapy to the person with Fabre. And those therapies actually are showing to make a difference in renal pathology, so progression of kidney disease, sometimes halting or reversing cardiac implications of Fabre. So people need to be aware of what's going on and as I said, sometimes you have to be your own best advocate. I'm talking to the clinicians, but I'm also talking to the patients and the families. Stop and say, what can I accomplish in 2021? Because I don't feel like I'm getting any better. I don't feel like I have an answer. I would say you can accomplish quite a bit.